Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Takeout Tuesday. We're here at Bowie, Maryland to check out the old Bowie Town Grill. We're sitting down with the owner, Teresa Thompson, as she gives us a tour of this community staple and a taste of some great food. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the Old Bowie Town Grill. This is our upstairs where we have our live entertainment and our private functions. Thank you for allowing us to take over your restaurant for today. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing in here. What was your inspiration for opening here? Well, my business partner back in 2003 thought that I needed to have my own restaurant. I've been in the restaurant business for over 40 years and he thought I should make my own money and all. So he found this location. I, I love people. I love to meet new people. I love to hear about people's lives. I love to hear about their kids, their grandkids. Our place is like a cheers. This is where everybody is our family. So you're very community oriented. I love that. So it's not just the food. We're up here in the event space. What kind of events happen here at the Old Bowie Town Grill? So we have live entertainment. We have a classic jam on Wednesdays that started back in, like, I believe it was 2007. Um, so you have, a, you have your main band that play for about a half hour and then people come in, musicians come in and they sign up, whether they play the harp, the keyboards, the drums, the guitar, and they get up, they get 15 minutes or three songs, but a lot of bands have formed here. The, the music has brought a, a nice community and a place for, like not everybody's involved in sports and all, where the kids that are artistic mm -hmm. have a place to go. So you are really a staple of the community here in Bowie. Yes. Yes, I think so. How did COVID affect business and operations? It was, it was tough. Um, you know, we had, when we first started COVID, we had about, I don't know, 20, 30 employees. We, we were down to about eight or nine. My staff has been very good. Everybody supported each other. Uh, we uh, started live entertainment outside. I believe it was uh, back in June of last year. And then it got to get colder and we had customers pay for our heaters. They are amazing. Um, so we have six heaters that were purchased by our customers. We did the Barstool fundraiser that we um, got accepted for. We had two Bowie grants that we were accepted for. Just every, everything's at the right time. And, I was, and I'm very grateful. That's amazing. I know you were one of our Dime Prince George's winners as well. So our contest earlier in the year where everyone voted for their favorite restaurants in the county, you were one of our top winners. That's that's it's awesome. Fantastic. And that's our, and my regular is our customers were like, oh, we're going to vote, we're going to vote. I had people stopping me at church. Hey, Teresa, I saw it. So, yeah, it's just, it's nice. You know, you, sometimes you don't know. And people are like, you, you do make a difference. And I, I'm just, I'm very grateful. Tell me about your menu. What can I expect to eat here? So we're an Irish theme with American cuisine. So it's like, you know, steaks and uh, ribs. Um, Crab cakes were known for our burgers. I believe in 2011, 2012, we were rated number one. Um, we didn't even know that there was a contest going on. Our burgers are awesome. We sell about 300 burgers or more a month. You sold me. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go try some of this award winning food. All right, sounds good. certainly prepared a spread for us. I'm thoroughly excited. Let, let's start down here. I'm assuming this is the bayou shrimp you were talking about. What else do we have on the table here? Yes, we have our, our ribs and this is a loaded baked potato. In front of you is our portobello mushrooms. I mean, we don't have a lot of vegan food, but that's the main thing and they love that. This is our Southwest chicken and our saute green beans and fresh garlic. This is our black bean corn salad, which we have Taco Tuesday. And this is a huge hit with a chipotle honey vinaigrette on the side and all of our salad dressings um, come on the side except for the caesar is tossed and this is our burger and this one has um bacon looks like cheddar cheese and a fried egg on top so with our burgers it's a half pound burger you get two toppings that come with choice 
And then there's, you can, for extra, like the fried egg or um, you can get double bacon, so. Your menu is very approachable with a little bit of exotic. I love it. It smells amazing. Thank I always you. wish people could smell the food <laughs> through the camera. It smells amazing. What is something that you, someone has to order when they come here? Well, you know, I will tell people when they come in, I always say order our burger. For dinner, you know, I, I go like our crab cakes, that's a palate thing, but our crab cakes are amazing. Our ribs are awesome. Gus's meatloaf. But I also ask my customers, what's your, what are you looking for? I mean, are you looking for an appetizer? You want a sandwich? You want a dinner? So we probably sell about 300 burgers a month. This food is amazing, by the way. Thank you. This is, this is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -mm. I think we should take a break. I'm gonna eat everything on the table and then we can come back and finish the dinner. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. So this is this is a big hit. This is, wow. yeah. It looks beautiful. And you said this is the Bayou. Bayou shrimp. What was your inspiration for this one? Lee, I mean, where the restaurant I used to work at, uh, they had that too, but theirs is more of a butter. Ours is the cream sauce. So I just kind of mentioned it and he came up with that, which is beautiful. There's a little bit of kick just for flavor, mm -hmm. but crazy. nothing you can't handle. That's really good. How often do you change your menu? My experience, as soon as you take something off the menu, mm -hmm. customers are like, why'd you do that? What are you doing? Oh, so we don't really change it up too much. We may take one thing off, put something else new on, mm -hmm. but we're not a restaurant that changes it weekly or monthly because I guarantee you, if we did that, they would be upset. You mentioned you had a fit, fab and fit menu? Yes, yeah, so we have a get fit menu, which has the salmon, it's a six ounce salmon, the portobello mushroom, mm -hmm. it has a chicken, just a breast of chicken, mm -hmm. and the burger without the bread. So if I want to eat healthy, but I'm still looking for some good food. Yes. Still come to the old Bowie Town Grill. And everything is homemade, or made in-house. It's made in-house, and everything is cooked to order. So nothing is, like prepared, you know, it's all cooked to order. Nothing comes frozen on a truck. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's good. You can taste it. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Takeout Tuesday. I hope you heard or saw something that inspires you to come out and try the Old Bowie Town Grill for yourself. Until next time, stay safe, stay proud, and buy Prince George's.